Hi, my love. This is going to be your channeled energy reading. Um, you submitted a question about a certain somebody. So to um, honor the your anonymity, <laughs> anonymity, <laughs> um, H is how we're going to refer to this person. Um, so you're, you're in a relationship with H and this is a unique relationship um, and you just want to know if this is good as is or is it going to change or what is like, what does it look like? So I'm, what I'm feeling is um, I want to do an energy reading on the relationship and then we'll go into like, depending on the energy of the relationship, like what comes through, then we'll look into the possibilities of getting out of it or staying in it. Okay. Um, so first things first, I want to kind of sit, I want to sit in, um, silence for a couple seconds and just kind of give you an idea of your aura energy. Okay, so first things first, my love, I'm feeling real somber. And I don't know if it's the music in the background, but the energy that I'm feeling is very somber and I'm also seeing like a bed of flowers. Now, I pulled the Botanical Inspirations deck for a previous client reading and I'm actually gonna keep it out to work with for you. I'm feeling floral energy is strong for you. Um, and flowers to me are a symbol of delicacy. It's uh, like to be delicate fragile, but they're also very strong and powerful. So it's kind of like opposites, right? Um, but clashing of it. The other thing I'm feeling for your energy is your aura is very pink, but it's pale. Um, and I feel like it's almost like, like spirit is kind of saying sucking the life out of you. So I don't know if you deal with a lot of, um, a lot of issues or experiences with people taking advantage of you or if this was something in the past, but it's still showing up in your aura. And so your aura looks pale, like a pale pink all throughout, almost as if like literally as if something, an entity of, of some sort is sucking the life out of you. Okay, so this could be right now in the present of how you're feeling, or this could also be symbolic for the past and perhaps this is issues that you've never had closure with you never dealt with um things maybe that you swept under the rug but it's still appearing in your energy okay now it's nothing to be afraid of it's just that's just kind of like that's <laughs> that's how i'm registering it so I'm, I'm just expressing to you what i'm seeing Okay, and then spirit is showing me muddy ground, like muddy floor, feet sinking in the mud. I feel like that's symbolic for slow process because anytime you're sludging through something, you're not running, you're not like, you're not getting through anything fast. You're, you're kind of like slowly, you know, getting through it. So that's another thing that I'm seeing. The somber energy that I'm feeling for you, I feel like there's a lot of past stuff, my love. I feel like there's a lot of things taking on, um, a lot of stuff that comes up from the past, from your past life. And you know what? My eyes just looked at the soul cards that I have. Let me go get those. I feel like Spirit wants me to use that deck for you. So anytime, um, anytime my attention is drawn to a specific deck, I take that as spirit asking me to use it for you, for, for clients. I have not worked with this deck in so long. <laughs> Let's see if I can even get it out. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling some cards. <laughs> so this is the soul, soul cards one. So those are the cards. There's no words to them. They are just for intuitive, for intuitive reasons.
I, okay, I just heard gaping hole. I feel like Spirit wants you to know that they're very much aware that there was, there, there was like something that took place in your past and there was no closure from it and it's left a hole, it's left a void. And this could be a void that you're trying to fill in the present, okay? It's sucking the life out of you is what I'm, feel, what I'm feeling. You harbor it in your belly. I feel like this card is kind of revealing you, you harbor it and you know what's really odd? This card pull, I pulled it for you. This is what's on the cover of the deck. And that's what I was watching, that's what I was looking at. Wow. Okay, I feel like you, this is like you harbor it all in your center, in your core mass of your body. So in your chest and in your belly, like the whole center part of, of you, um, you're harboring a lot of this and it's like a gaping void, okay? And I feel like it's due to past traumas mixed with the present like inactivity in the present okay um the cards that i'm pulling like this one really makes me feel like it's almost like 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 you look at yourself in the mirror you see the handprints of others so that kind of makes me feel like it's mistreatment um it could have been some sort of form of abuse it could have been some sort of form of uh, manipulation okay um, hands on you and the fact that it's red like kind of almost like resembles blood to me it just feels like it's it was very traumatic it was a lot okay so a lot of somberness um, this image we see like the hands here with the red I feel like it just kind of goes hand in hand okay I feel like it goes it just goes together this could have been a single individual that had to do with this, or this could have been multiple people, but I'm just feeling in the sense of, in the past, there was mistreatment. There was some sort of something going on that you harbored a lot from. You harbored it, you, and you're, you still carry it with you. It's manifested physically. It could be in the form of weight gain, or it could be in the form of some, some sort of an eating issue, okay? It could even just be feeling like um, stomach cramps or maybe like when something is off, you physically feel ill in your belly, okay? So this is, that's your energy reading right now, my love. So I'm gonna go into the tarot reading portion of your reading now. We have the Druid, which is, um, oh, what are you, the Druid? <laughs> the Hierophant, Father Energy, perhaps? Is this what we're talking about? Is Father Energy connected to your past? We have the King of um, Pentacles in reversed. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, Four of Pentacles in reversed, this is telling me of lack of trust, okay? So I'm feeling like there were heavy males in your life, past males. It doesn't just have to be a father figure, but it could be a father figure or a grandfather figure. Um, but there's also other kings coming up and the fact that they're popping up makes me feel like this was a lot of male, negative male energy that influenced your past, okay? The fact that the four of pentacles is coming up in reverse is making me energetically feel, because where this is your energy reading, this is about you. This makes me feel like a lack of trust. Um, and then also clinginess. So you, maybe you have the tendency to be very clingy towards other um, individuals that you are in a relationship with. Um, it could be due to lack of trust from the you know previous relationships you've been in, um, or it could be you know you're afraid of commitment. So we have pearls. Oh, I'm sorry. Peaks of joy came up in reverse for you and moonlight came up. Moonlight to me is anytime anything under the moon is our secrets coming up, okay? The moon is very like, shines light on our shadow. It, it, it casts a shadow, but it, it literally enhances everything in our shadow. So it's like our secrets coming out of the woodwork. 
the peaks of joy in reversed is kind of saying you you may as appear to be happy on the outside but on the inside there's a lot of this stuff you're going through okay there's a lot of things that still need to be sorted out within you my love within you and now that I have an idea of your energy, let's look into the relationship. Because that's going to give me an idea of what's going on with you and H. Um, I will say the dynamic of your relationship, and for personal reasons, I'm not going to go into detail about that because it's, you know, it's, it's no one's business but yours. I will say because of the dynamic of that relationship, um, and due to the past stuff I see popping up, I feel like you, I feel like there's either like a, a commitment, something with commitment, fear of it, almost like you're okay with, with being in the middle, like in the in-between, in the unknown zone with love, because you don't know if you're, if you're ready to commit 100%. There's a lot of the past stuff you still have to deal with, but then at the same time, you don't want to lose this person entirely because that scares you as well. So with this relationship, I have the Ace of Wands in reversed. I have the Devil card coming up, and I have the Lovers. So this relationship has its toxicity to it, my love. Um, I'm not going to, you know... I'm not going to assume, I don't want to assume, but I'm feeling energetically, I feel because the devil card is coming up at the core, I feel like this card reveals toxicity in the relationship. It is not always 100% good, okay? There are things that make you feel bad about it, and I feel like sometimes maybe you don't want to address it, like because of the fears that I mentioned before. The lover's card coming up, you know, obviously this is a relationship reading. So, of course, the lover's card, there you go. Now you, you so you could see, but side by side with the devil kind of makes me feel it's a toxic relationship at times, okay? There's like toxicity elements in it involved with it. And then the ace of wands in reversed. Ace of wands in reverse is kind of saying the passion is somewhat there. But it used to be stronger, but it's in reverse right now which is telling me that you may have noticed that either H has been pulling away or perhaps you're just noticing a dwindling in that spirit, that fire that was once there, okay? And so it maybe it scares you. Maybe it makes you worry that, you know, that things are changing. Based on the soul cards that are coming up, I'm getting the feeling that other people, like especially this one, I'm getting the feeling that other people have told you their opinions on the relationship. I feel like you constantly get people saying you could do better or what are you doing when this in this relationship? I feel like there's an attachment to the children. Is there children involved? <sighs> I feel like there's children involved, okay? But I, based on what I wrote from your email, I can't remember if it was your child or if it was, you know, another child that's involved in the dynamic of this. But I feel like there's, like, kind of like, um, the child plays a significant role in this relationship, whether it is the reason why you and H are not 100% committed or it's, Maybe you have really strong feelings with this child and you can't see yourself detaching the re from the relationship be for the sake of the children. It could be that too. Um, but I feel like it's almost like you're just very careful. You're very careful. You're very cautious. You're very protective of the nature of the relationship. But it's a cycle. And I see that. I kind of see that with this card. I see it as a cycle. It's endless. I feel like you guys go through your toxic moments and then you're good and then it's toxic and then you're good and then it's toxic. 
it's an endless, it's like a cycle, constant. So maybe that's what that devil card is kind of representing is that there's toxicity in the relationship and then there's like good moments and then there's bad moments. The bellflower, gratitude. When it comes to your relationships and when it comes to love, gratitude is kind of like, what are you thankful for with love? You know, what are the, what, what is it? Do you receive gratitude from this relationship? Are you respected? Are you honored? Are you, um, you know, loved and cared and cared about? I, you have to ask yourself that. Is there gratitude involved in this relationship? Is there thanks happening or is it one sided? Because I'm sensing, I feel like spirit is kind of saying it's one sided at times. And I feel like that is what has started to get to you. Almost like it bothers you now. I feel like the energy of this relationship is not what it used to be. And I feel like things will start to evolve and change. And you may not be on the same page anymore. That's channeled version for you. <laughs> like that's what, that is really what I feel like spirit is kind of saying is that things are going to be developing and changing and you may not be, you may not be on board anymore. There's the five of cups. The five of cups, the nine of pentacles. We have the page of cups in reversed and the knight of wands in reversed. Um, you go back and forth with wanting to stay in the relationship and not. There's regrets. There's a lot of regrets. And it's really hard for you to walk away from it. Um, so I feel like emotionally, you are very much emotionally involved and tied into this relationship. And it's hard for you to walk away from it. But you have thought about it. That page of cups in reversed. You know, there could have been other people. I'm thinking that there could have been other people or there will be other people coming up in the near future who will actually be taking in interest in you. And in the reverse is kind of saying you will easily pass this person up, this opportunity up, if you can't face the truth to walk away from what you currently have. I, I don't want to... I don't like to say you have to do this or that because I'm not here to tell you that. This is your reading. I want you to gather from it what you feel is what spirit is saying for you. But I feel like there is a choice that is going to be coming up again as you are in this cycle with this individual. And I feel like there is almost like a the pros and the cons is kind of how I'm seeing that. The nine of pentacles is the pros. But the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent individual. This this in Nine of Pentacles usually is not worried about everybody else. Nine of Pentacles energy can take care of themselves. And I feel like the opposite, the con is, you know, the inability to move forward. So I feel like it's almost like your your heart your heart is at odds with each other at times. And I feel like emotionally you feel like you want to disconnect but it's hard for you to walk away from it. I feel like to answer your question, I feel if the relationship remains as it has been, like as it is, this is as good as it's going to get. I feel like it's not going to improve. I feel like nothing is really going to change, okay? We have the talisman that came up. This is number 49, Talisman. Let's see what Talisman is all about. It allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. Familiar patterns. What were we just talking about? The cycle, right? Being in a cycle, the toxicity of the relationship at times. It enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best route along the way. 
Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You learned your lesson and earned the right to your success. It's basically saying you know where you should go. You know what you should take, what journey you are on, what is good and what is bad. And you will receive abundance by making the right choice. And I feel like that goes hand in hand so well with the Five of Cups, with turning your back and moving in a different direction, breaking the chain, breaking the cycle. This is healing work for you, my love. I feel like you are in immense need of healing work, especially due to past stuff, because um, that stuff will never go away. If you don't deal with it, if you don't face it head on, it will not go away. It may, you know, you may, it may not bother you as much as it would, be, would before. And then there's moments something will trigger you or, you, you know, something will happen. And it's like you're in that pit all over again. It just depends. But it doesn't fully go away until you address it and, and deal with it. The lovers in reverse popped up. We have Merlin, who is also the hermit. And the moon. Powerful cards. I feel like spirit is kind of saying, this is a time for you to need, you need time alone. Solo time. Hermit energy is usually, especially in love readings, it's usually a sign of being single. It's a sign of separating yourself in order to find yourself again. There's a lot of answers that you have. There's a lot of answers that you need to find and a lot of healing that needs to be done. And it cannot be done when you are tied into someone else. I feel like you need this separation. And I feel like the moon card is like it's revealing your secrets. Your skeletons are coming out. Your inner secrets are coming out. This is stuff from the past. This is stuff from things that are like maybe years, years and years and years ago. But it's still there. You're still dealing with it. That's powerful. The Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Eight of Swords is needing to set yourself free. You are still locked into this mind trap. You are still locked into this, this, this game in many ways. You are trapped, my love. And it's like an urgency to free yourself from that. Four of Pentacles is just, it's all, it's all about needing to be solo. This is a journey that can only be done by yourself. By yourself. And there's no timeline. It's not going to happen overnight. And it, you know, and it sometimes it takes years. But the good part is, is that if you're doing it, you're doing something about it. Encouragement. You need your little, your, your cheerleading team to, to urge you to do things, okay? Allow that to be me. Allow that to be certain friends or family members or people who are closest to you that you know care about you, who genuinely care about your well-being. Allow the encouragement to help you, to keep you moving forward. I feel like one of those wanted to come out. Gladiola, strength of character and moral integrity. Strength of character and moral integrity. What are your morals? What's your, what is, what is, what do you honor? What is true to you? What is important to you? And your strength and character is the strength in yourself, your personality, who you are. As you grow and you have more appreciation for yourself, more respect for yourself, 
you will ex you will want that for yourself and that will be an expectation when it comes to other lovers so oh, what a reading my love <laughs> that's a powerful reading um i feel like you have to i feel like you got to watch this over and over again a couple times and take notes and really just kind of gather from it i think there was so much that came up in this reading we could go on and on about it but if you have any questions please reach out to me i want to hear from you um but i feel like the gist of most of it is is what is coming coming out i don't want to just be repeating myself um but if you have any questions please reach out send me an email i would love to connect with you um you know and I wish you all the best, my love. I hope that you find answers. I hope that you find strength to make decisions that will be empowering for you. And I hope that you are able to start your process of healing um, because we all need it. We all, we all deserve to be healed and to be happy and to be at peace in ourselves. Okay? So with that, my love, I will let you go. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, loves.